なんてんせい Yeah, my name is Akashi and we're back with another video. We got this video here. It's a request from Zaid Khan. Hopefully I said your name right. I'd be trying not to butcher these names, but it is what it is. Sorry about that if I did. But yeah, we got a video. We're using only free to play characters now. Obviously, you see all the free to play units that you get from Legends Road and like Rising Battle, like Vegeta or whatnot. But I've also got Goku there. And the only reason I actually have Goku there is because Goku was actually one of the very first units in the game so I do consider him very free to play and considering that he's also a Zenkai he kind of like is there so he can bring up the team so don't watch Zen Zenkai Goku there but technically he is a free to play unit in my opinion you can get him from master packs just by playing the game so I'm considering him a free to play unit I'm not, like if it is a, a banner like a Legends Ryzen 14 or something like that, I wouldn't obviously include them, but since he was at the beginning of the game, I do consider him a um, free-to-play unit, so watch out about that, don't don't be don't be coming, oh, Goku isn't a free-to-play unit, da -da 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 -da. you have to summon for him, da -da -da -da. you got him Zenkai, wait. no, he is, because I got him to friendship level 10, I did all the missions solely, I didn't do the summon for him, with the, the Chrono Crystals on the Zenkai ban, I didn't do that. I grinded for him, and he was at the beginning of the game, so that's that with that. But overall, free to play units are actually very slept on. Like, you know me if you've been here for a while, if you haven't, then you're getting to know now. My favorite team in Legends is actually the Hybrids AM team, and on this team right now, in, in this first gameplay, there's actually, um, I'm talking about the Green Gohan. The Green Gohan, Legends Road Gohan, he's amazing. Now, he's very slept on in my opinion anyways. I feel like people really undermine him, but he's a support unit. He's very good in terms of supporting a hybrid Saiyan team. Specifically for his main ability. His main ability basically gives... Um, I don't believe it's specific to his teammates. I believe it's um, specific to hybrid Saiyans. Let me actually read it out right here. So it says it following applies the following effects to allies tag hybrid Saiyan. 25% damage inflicted for 30 time accounts, 50% to key recovery for 30 time accounts. Now, if that was specific to all allies, then it would be a much bigger impact. But on my hybrid Saiyan team, he does the dirt. He's useful. I definitely use him. Um I do believe he slept on, but I do understand that he's not the best unit because He's specific to hybrid Saiyan teams, and of course, he's a Legend um, Road unit. So, I don't, I don't expect people to expect him to also be like, I don't know, a um, Android 21 or who's who's good in the game, Vegito or something like that. So that's that with that. But on this team right now, besides from Goku, because Goku is the best unit on the team in my opinion, anyways. But if I was to rule out Goku, because he's not like a Legends Road unit, he's not a um, uh, Legends Rising, Rising, Rising Battle type unit like Vegito. If I was to say he was the best on this team right now, it would honestly be Android 21. Android 21, undeniably. I'm not using her in this battle, obviously. But you would see later that the debuff that she causes is actually insane. Android 21 is easily the best 100% free to play unit in the game by far like I've got her um, 7 star I should have probably grinded her more but I don't actually use females or um, I don't I don't believe I do have on a region team actually but I don't use android or female warrior so I wasn't really too fast about the grind but even at 7 star she is amazing her uh, green card minus 5 to own strike cards and blast arts and then you can combo into it and you draw a new card when you hit bro and then the main ability just causes debuffs and then every every blast starts i believe like i don't know what it is i think it's her unique abilities one of them it just gives the enemies um 50 damage received for every use of arts card that's nuts like she is amazing if you've got her 
I definitely recommend you using her. Not even just like how I'm using them on a free to play unit, a free to play team like I have here, but just generally um, just using her on a region team. She is beautiful. And I mean that in both ways, like she's beautiful. She's working well. Her unit is her, her stats, her, her um, unique ability, main ability. There's actually nothing wrong with her. I feel like she could actually just be, she could have been on a banner. Only reason she's probably a free to play unit is because, um, of course, the the I think it's the Fighter Z collab. I don't play Fighter, so don't watch my knowledge. But I'm pretty sure it's the Fighter Z collab. But she the, she was like the free free character in comparison to Evil Twenty One, which was the summonable one. Same way we had Broly and then the free to play Broly before when um, the Super Movie came out and whatnot. But other units on this team, um, I really mess with Piccolo Heavy. Piccolo and Android 21 are probably the best the best um, synergy you're going to get on this team because besides from the fact that a lot of these units do buff Legend Rogue but they're not all Legend Rogue units and that's something that I also want to class on so my synergy on the team wasn't the best but I tried my hardest to make it like very usable so uh, Android 21 she buffs Android and Female Warrior at 7 stars and it obviously goes up at um, seven plus stars but i believe um piccolo fuse kami the legends road one he actually buffs regen and legends road i've got him well everyone's pretty much got him i believe it's six stars yeah six stars that's when you get the next Z ability above three stars i believe but yeah the fact that he buffs regeneration and legends road he's helping all, all the legends road units actually help each other out with that but like I said before, it's not a full Legend Road team. And there's also the regeneration buff that I wanted to focus on because Android 21 is actually a region unit, so she would get the buff from that. So that's actually useful in that aspect. Goku, he's buffing Saiyans. Nobody's getting that buff, I don't believe. It's just it's just Goku. There's no other Legends Road. Actually, Vegito would be. Vegito's red. So he's getting that buff from the Zenkai Goku. But I also had... The, the man, the fall off Gohan, that purple Great Salmon, Great Salmon one. He's actually low key good. I would I would never put him high on a um, tier list. I would never say he's underrated. Like he's not a great unit at all. But on this team, he was useful because his main ability does summon a special move, and that was low key useful. Like I like it and it increases his damage inflicted, enhances uh, special move art and increases the 35% uh, faint rate, like that is actually useful, obviously people don't like faints, I know some people don't like faints but I play to win, I'm trying to win, I'm trying to catch a dub, rise and rush, the gameplay is there for the W, obviously you want to see how amazing someone is but for you guys that don't really post content, of course you can see how amazing they are to a certain extent but I'm pretty sure you're not going to be playing, if you're, especially if you're trying to get the Kronos for the season and it gets tedious sometimes, you're not going to be playing just to have fun 247 depending on what unit you're using. I just hope you don't be using Great Salmon anyway, you probably have better units but definitely, definitely um, for a free to play unit I would advise using them. If I have to say my top 3 free to play units, uh, definitely Android 21. I haven't spoken about Vegito. Vegito's locking main ability. When he when he activates his main ability, he actually locks you in. That is beautiful. It would definitely be Vegito second. But he's only pretty good on a fusion team, so uh, on his own, he's not the best. But on a fusion team, he's much better. But I would still put him second because of the main ability locking. That can actually change the whole fate of a game. You've seen as with Yellow Gohan, it's nuts. But yeah, um, uh, I lost my train of thought. Android 21, the free to play one. Second, we got Rising Battle Vegito. And then for third, I would put, I want to put Gohan, but I feel like that's a little bit of my bias because of my hybrid saying. Really and truly, I think Piccolo Fuse Kami does a bit more. I think I would, I would give Piccolo Fuse Kami the edge just, uh, just a bit. One unit I didn't use in this game, um, the blue rage trunks i didn't have him in this in this video i probably should have but 
I didn't feel like he would fit in this video because I'm using Android 21 and Android 21 is much better than her. Much better than him rather. But yeah, like I was just about to say, that's all I pretty much got to say for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Just want to point out, I wanted to point out in this video that free to play units, watch out on them because you can get exposed, trust me. But yeah, if you haven't already pressed the subscribe button, we're on this grind to 5,000 subscribers, we hit 2,000, so all I can do is thank you guys. I'm really appreciative. But um, I'm not too fussed about likes, but definitely leave a comment. Comments is where it's at because that's where the interactions are. I try to reply to all comments. But yeah, this is the last gameplay. I went up against this region team. I don't even want to speak too tough, this region team was tough, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video again, I'm going to just let this gameplay finish off, you guys can watch that, but aside from that guys, I'll see you in the next one. This whole universe will bow before me. Now kneel, slaves!